Well, this is the way the bolero starts. Uh, it starts with a snare drum playing a little introduction, and then the solo flute begins the famous melody of bolero. So everybody knows that melody. It's Everyone amazing. knows it. I love it. And because it's such a popular piece, you know, it's not performed all that much. So when we do get a chance to do it, it's like a new piece all over again. The Debussy is like looking at a pointillistic painting. Uh, there aren't very many melodies in it. And here, just the little fragments. It's like brief fireworks of music rather than a broad brushstroke of a melody, which you would find, in, for example, in La Mer by Debussy, the big expansive melodies portraying the sea. But in this piece, there are little flashes of musical color. In, in the first movement of the Ravel Piano Concerto, I think he pays a little bit homage to, maybe not Gershwin, but to American jazz. With the flutter tonguing and the jazz motif, it's really a, a wonderful little melody in the, in the Ravel Piano Concerto. Very French. Why? It, it's a hint of cloudiness. There's a hint of sensuality. There's a hint of bird calls, of nature, of the very subtleness of clouds going across the moon. It's wonderful uh, uh, depiction of nature in the woods. The flute sits squarely in the middle of the orchestra. So that gives you some idea of the importance of the flute in the symphony orchestra to begin with. The Ravel uh, uh, Bolero starts with a solo flute. The Ravel Piano Concerto starts with a solo piccolo, which is a little nephew of the big flute. And so it's critical, it's very important in, in, in impressionistic music. If you're a flute lover, this is a good, a good one to come to.